My name is Svetlana Rudenker and my doctoral studies uh, started in, at the Royal Irish Academy of Music, Dublin. And uh, due to narrow specialization on synesthesia and uh, neuroscience, um, and as well as art visualizations on music, uh, I trans transferred uh, the, my doctorate to University of Granada. Uh, this uh, research and presentation I'm doing for grass, uh, what does it really mean for music recognition to be embodied? This is the theme of the conference. And uh, I try to bring into the subject uh, uh, cross-modal associations uh, and music analysis and how uh, we connect uh, the knowledge with sensory aspects and there was sensory perception. Musical texture is the DNA of the musical composition, created by a complex of elements such as rhythm, melody, harmony, structure, or accompaniment. Musical texture is an inducer of cross-modal associations. Our music perception and music consciousness based on the sensory feedback from different presets, such as tactile, audio, visual, in some cases olfactory. And uh, that I wanted to introduce uh, uh, you to synesthesia studies because uh, synesthesia cases, uh, it's uh, sensory pairings when the stimulus viewed in the secondary sensory modalities gives us different impressions and of course on sound and music we can see different uh, perceptions and we get understanding how the music and sound could be perceived in a very different way. So potentially is it to um, Newborn baby has a cross-modal uh, brain and the experiences infant synesthesia. So potentially we all can re-establish our sensory pairings and the, my research is very much aimed for this. So I'm working in the areas where um, sensory substitution devices for blind people um, trying to translate visual experience and shapes and colors into musical experience to make the to enrich their lives and social engagement with the world. Uh, as well, my interest uh, is uh, augmented reality and the reflection on imagery in classical music, so developing applications, art visualizations on classical music. Uh, for that purpose, uh, I'm working on developing alternative analysis um, for art visualizations based on uh, cross-modal associations and archetypes of musical texture. Um, this um, uh, more suitable discipline for this research is neuromusicology. It's how our brain reacts on musical structures and how we, we perceive music with sensory. So, uh, music is an embodied experience and consciousness uh, brings our awareness of those sensory aspects. Um, Art works on music. I uh, wanted to show the example how music could be perceived visually. This is uh, the image from uh, artist synesthet Nguyen Hui Song. He has a musical space synesthesia and chromesthesia. For him, shapes and colors, um, sound, and um, you can see it there. So uh, I had a collaboration with computer science and the uh, Together with visual, audio and tactile feelings, as a performer, I feel the sound uh, as a sculpture and landscape. landscape. So, uh, for the visualization of musical texture, this computational model of musical space synesthesia uh, programmed on three layers of uh, musical texture, um, given individual shape uh, and the shape where and the live codes uh, to reflect on live performance. So what it does for pedagogy or um, performance practice, visualization influences on our perception of time and phrase. So if we have a bigger interval, then uh, we have to allow more time for this to happen. This is um, this way mental visualization can reduce a lot of uh, many hours of practice and uh, lots of repetitions. Um, uh, another project uh, we're done at Trinity College Dublin uh, in collaboration with visual artist Maura MacDonald 
um, and we produced the uh, cognitive musicology via synesthesia for uh, British Neuroscience Association. It was the concert was included in public program. This is a model of um, um, music analysis for art visualization and the. Uh, mapping archetypes of musical texture to reflect on symbolic philosophical content of composition. How it was done, um, that, so the archetypes of musical texture were labelled with certain uh, images uh, reflecting on probably historical aspect, its musicology, and as well as synesthetic art, um, uh, and their uh, more did animation to uh, to, 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 to demonstrate simultaneously during the performance. Uh, all these um, projects demonstrate how music could be perceived uh, in different sensory modalities, uh, non in conventional way, to be aware of sensory aspects of performance and maybe to establish new programs how we can. Uh, explore imagery and uh, how neuromusicology could be beneficial for performance practice. So paintings on music from artists' synesthetes broaden our imagery and understanding how sound could be perceived and viewed in additional sensory modalities, embodied music cognition in visual cortex. Alternative model of music analysis based on archetypes of musical texture is proposed for mapping cross-modal associations and creating musical narrative of composition, giving useful insight into the emotional content. For this special visualization of musical texture, based on musical space synesthesia model, influences perception of time, dynamics and shape of phrases. Mental visualization can reduce hours of instrumental practice and numerous repetitions. Thank you very much.